Austin. Uh, she's Lynn, and we're going to talk about mean, median, and mode today. So uh, what is an average? That's the first thing we're going to talk about. Um, it's a center value or a typical value. It's usually used as a good summary of, of like a list of, of data or values that you have. Um, so, and then there's three main uh, measures of, of average, and those would be mean, median, and uh, mode. Um, so we're going to talk about those a little bit more. Uh, the first um, type we're going to talk about is the mean. Uh, the mean, the formula for the mean is you just sum up all of the values you have in your data and then you uh, divide by the number of observations you have in the data and then that will give you um, a value that's uh, typically like the average we consider. Um, so here's an example. Uh, I moved to set A here and then it's just 2, 5, 7, 9, and 13. So we add those values up. Um, you can see that we get 35 and then 35, take that divided by 5, because that's the number of values we have in that uh, um, set there, and then that is equal to 7, and that's our mean. Um, so that would be uh, an example of the, finding the mean of a set. Um, the next uh, is the median, and the median is the middlemost number. Um, there will always be a single value if you have an odd number of observations, if you think about it, because you start eliminating from each end and uh, so you eliminate, like, say you have five, you eliminate the first and the fifth, then the second and the fourth, and then all you're left with is the third. Um, so that would be your median. And if there's an even number of observations or, or, or values in your set, then you have to take the average of the middle two most uh, values. So say you have six values, you cross out the first and the sixth, and then the second and uh, the fifth, and then you're left with the third and the fourth, and you add, you sum them, and then divide by two, like, like the, the mean formula. Um, and now Lynn's going to talk about uh, the, in ex a couple examples of, of the median. Thank you. Okay, so as um, Austin just mentioned, there are um, two different ways of figuring out the median. If you have whether, depending on if you have the odd, uh, odd number, um, an odd number of observations or an even number of observations. So let's look at the first example. Here we have an odd number of observations. So it's very simple. All you have to do is find the middle value. And here we have um, si seven different, yeah, seven different values. And so, I'm oh, sorry, five different values. And so here you would just cross out the first and the fifth, and the second and the fourth, and then so you're left with the third value, which is seven here, as you can see. And it's very important to also order um, your number before you try to find the medium of it. And the second example is of an even, num uh, an even number of observations. So here, um, obviously, we're, we have four different observations, and so we're left with five and nine. And so what you simply do is, again, find the average of that, or the mean of that, which is take adding the two middle numbers and then dividing it by two. So we get seven here. So next we'll talk about the mode. Um, this is the mode, basically what it is, is just the number that appears most often in your line of numbers. So for example, here we can see that we have you know, 3, 5, 1, and all these numbers. But 5 obviously appears the most, since it's appeared four different times. But then 1 also appears only twice. And so you would say that whatever number appears the most would, the most would be your mode. Let's look at some examples of that. So here, look at our number line. Obviously, you can see that we have a lot of sixes. And a way to also really easily find this is if you order your number, then you'll be able to see kind of like which number you have the most of. <coughs> um, obviously, the mode is six here because we it appears four times in our example, and so that would be our mode. And so to sum up, um, you know they're very useful um, in different ways, and you probably wanna the average of your number line, um, depending if you will really want to find the true middle. Um, it will kind of depend on the number set. So the mean, which is very commonly used, um, you know, it's it's kind of like the true average. Is you're basically um, summing up everything and dividing the number of operations that you have. The median, however, is also very useful, especially the very skewed data or data with a lot of outliers, because then um, they will give those outliers less weight, and so you'll be able to find more of like of middle ground or the average. And then the mode, which is obviously just the numbers that you have the most of in your set. Thank you.